Sam with Mother Time. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing five brand new Christmas gift in a jar ideas. These are perfect for all of your holiday gifting. I cannot wait to show you these ideas, so stay tuned. And if you're new here to my channel, welcome. I love sharing home decor, cooking, and crafting here on my channel. So if those are videos you enjoy watching, click that subscribe button below so you never miss a video. Okay, you guys, you know what time it is. Grab yourself a yummy hot cocoa, sit back, relax, and let's get started. All of the recipes for the gift jars I'm making in this video are available to download for free on my blog. I'll include a link for it in the description below. The recipes also include these printable gift tags that include the cooking instructions that you can attach to the gift jars. The recipes also include the measurements for each jar as well as the cooking instructions. So first up, I'm making the cranberry white chocolate chip cookies. So I have this beautiful jar from Dollar General and to the jar, I'm adding one and three quarters cup of flour, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a pinch of salt. Each recipe yields one jar, but the best thing is you can make as many as you want. You can just set up an assembly line on your counters with each of your jars, and then just go through each jar and add all of the ingredients. Once I mix the flour, baking soda, and salt together, I'm going to tamper it down. This tamper is from Amazon. I'll include a link for it in the description below. Next, I'm gonna add my funnel back on my jar. I've had this funnel for years. I'm going to add a half a cup of light brown sugar, lightly tamper that down, and then a half a cup of granulated sugar. Finally, I'm gonna add one cup of sweetened dried cranberries and three quarters of a cup of white chocolate chips. You could also add in some chopped walnuts or chopped pecans. If you do, you'll just wanna do three quarters cup of dried cranberries, a half a cup of white chocolate chips, and then a half a cup of chopped nuts. And here is the jar all filled. It is so pretty. So now I'm gonna add the lid on and then add my tag. I'm just gonna use some twine and attach the tag using a hole punch, but you could also use some sticker paper or some double-sided tape to attach these two jars as well. And here is the jar all ready to gift, but I had another idea for gifting. So I found these little boxes at Dollar Tree and they are the perfect size for these jars. So I'm gonna just pop my jar in the box, add some paper shred because I love paper shred, it's so festive. And look at this all ready to gift. Next up, I'm making a spiced Christmas tea in a jar. You guys, this is so good. I'm actually sipping on it right now as I do this voiceover. It's it's delicious. So anyways, in a large bowl, I love my Christmas bowl. I use this every Christmas bowl. I actually use it year round. I just love the size of it. So to my bowl, I'm adding one and a quarter cup tang and three quarters cup sweetened lemon iced tea mix a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of allspice, and a pinch of cloves. I'm gonna mix that all together. To make this tea, what I'm doing now is I have my hot water and I'm adding about two to three teaspoons of the tea to my hot water and it's delish. Now it's time to package this yummy tea up and I found this super cute jar at Dollar General. You guys, Dollar General is such a great place to find inexpensive jars for these gift in a jars. To fill this jar up, I did have to make a little bit more tea to fill it completely up. Now I'm going to attach a tag, which you can download for free on my blog. I just wrapped it with some twine and here it is ready to gift, but I found the cutest box that this jar fits perfectly in. 
So I'm gonna add it into this box, which is from Dollar Tree add some paper shred and wrap it with some ribbon. And this is such a great gifty, perfect for a tea lover. Next up, I'm making Christmas cappuccino in a jar, perfect for a coffee lover. Again, I'm using another one of these Dollar General glass jars. And to my large bowl, I'm adding one and a half cups instant hot cocoa. I'm using my homemade hot cocoa, but you could use store-bought as well. I'm also going to add in one cup of French vanilla non-dairy powdered coffee creamer, one cup of instant non-fat dry milk, one cup of confectioner's sugar, a half a cup of granulated sugar, and a half a cup of instant coffee. I'm gonna give it a good mix. Another alternative is you could put it in a food processor and pulse it a few times as well. Once it's all mixed up, I'm going to add it to my jars. I also found this pretty jar at Dollar General as well, so I'm gonna fill it up with some of the mix too. To make a cup of this delicious Christmas cappuccino, I will add three to four tablespoons of the cappuccino mix to one cup of hot water. This Christmas cappuccino is so yummy. Make sure you make yourself a cup of it as well. So now I'm going to cut out one of my tags and add it to my jar with some twine. And you could also make some smaller servings of this mix and put it in some mugs for really cute and thoughtful gifties as well. Next up, I'm making a creamy potato soup mix in a jar using boxed instant mashed potatoes. So in a quart size jar, I'm adding one and three quarters cup instant mashed potatoes along with one and a half cups instant non-fat dry milk. I'm also adding a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, two tablespoons of instant chicken bouillon granules, two teaspoons of dried minced onions, a teaspoon of seasoned salt, a tablespoon of dried chives, a teaspoon of dried parsley, and a quarter teaspoon of ground black pepper. I'm going to layer that all in my jar and then add my lid. And again, you can grab the full recipe with all of the measurements on my blog. I'll include a link for that in the description below. Now I'm gonna attach one of these printable tags. I was going to attach it with some twine, but I decided to attach it to the jar using some double-sided tape. You could also use sticker paper too. And I will include a link for the sticker paper I like to use in the description below. I also added some twine and this jar is done, but I found the perfect box these jars fit in from Dollar General and it is the cutest box ever. Don't you love it? So I'm actually going to pop this in the box along with some paper shred. And finally, I'm going to wrap the box with some ribbon and this yummy and delicious creamy potato soup is ready to gift.
And finally, I am making Merry Christmas Soup. This is such a hearty and delicious soup. Anyone will love. I'm actually making two. One to put on a pot of soup for lunch today in my home as well. So to each jar, I'm adding a half a cup of split peas, a third cup of beef bouillon granules, a quarter cup of pearl barley, a half a cup of lentils, a quarter cup of dried minced onion, two teaspoons of dried Italian seasoning, and one cup of uncooked long grain rice. And here is the jar all layered up, super easy and looks so pretty. Now I'm going to cut out my tag and just simply attach it to the jar with some twine, but you could even use some sticker paper or just some double-sided tape to attach the label onto the jar as well. Here is my jar all ready to gift. You can tuck this in a gift bag or put it in a gift basket along with some other goodies. Now I'm going to make a pot of this delicious soup as well. I've already ground a pound of ground beef and to that I'm going to add a 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes as well as three quarts of water and the contents of the jar. I'm going to mix all of this together and then bring it to a boil on my stove. Reduce the heat, cover and simmer for one hour. Once the soup is done, I'm going to serve it up in some bowls. It is so good. It is such a great, comforting and delicious bowl of soup anyone will love. Okay, guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. And let me know in the comments below what your favorite gift in a jar is. And for daily decor and DIY inspo, make sure you're following me over on Facebook and Instagram at Mother Time. Thank you so much for joining me here today. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.